Hey, what is up, guys? This is Dino Gamer back in another video. Today, I'm here with another Jurassic World Evolution uh, discussion slash gameplay video because today we're going to be talking about something that we have been kind of wanting since the Claire DLC came out. Now, in case you guys forgot, the Claire Sanctuary DLC came out last month on June 18th, and on the same day, Frontier also released an update containing a bunch of stuff that we've been wanting for a long time in the game, including a variety of trees, rocks, and terrain tools. Which again is something that people have wanted in the game since it first released on June 12th of last year. Honestly, when I first played the game, I was really surprised to see that there wasn't any terrain tools firsthand. Seeing how there's a park building simulation game, you think they would have this kind of thing in the game when it first releases, but in this case, there wasn't, and many people were disappointed. Finally, after a little over a year of asking and asking and pretty much begging Frontier for something like this, Frontier finally gave us what we wanted because Frontier actually listens to us despite what some people in this community think. But like I said, alongside with the Claire Sanctuary DLC, we were also given an update that included the terrain tools that we have been asking for for so long. And they included stuff like rocks, uh, mud, dirt, even gravel on Isla Pena, and the long-awaited sand terrain tool, which is something that, again, People have really wanted. I know I keep saying that a lot, but it's true. You know, I'm trying to emphasize the fact that this is something that have been on the people's wish list for Jurassic World Evolution for the longest time, even on mine. Again, I was very surprised when something like sand wasn't even in the game firsthand. And, the, you know, a lot of people from an outside perspective may be looking at us and thinking, okay, it's just sand. What's the big idea? When you're playing a park building simulation game such as Jurassic World Evolution, something like sand can go a long way. It could be really effective in making the environments for the dinosaurs look very realistic and amazing. So when people saw the terrain tools in the Claire Sanctuary DLC, they went nuts with it. Of course, you know, there are videos online of people just kind of messing around with it and making beautiful enclosures out of it on the, uh, you know, Sanctuary Island in the new DLC. But then we were hit with the very disappointing news that this sand terrain tool could not work on certain islands, Isla Nublar being one of them. The sandbox island that people work on the most of all the islands because again it's a sandbox island people can do whatever they want with no stress no limits nothing they could incubate whatever dinosaur they want at whatever cost and they could just build the park that they always wanted and basically frontier didn't add the sand terrain tool for isla nublar but they had a solid reason the reason why frontier didn't do that is because had they done that it would have corrupted several save files in many players games which is something frontier obviously wanted to avoid and honestly i'm glad they did that because uh, you know i i wouldn't want to be a victim of that and many people didn't know this therefore they really did not like that frontier did this you know frontier did get some backlash because of this people did complain but because frontier is is amazing they actually listened to us and really worked on fixing this problem because this morning they released the 1.8.3 update which lets us use the sand terrain tool on Isla Nublar and many people are happy because of that I for one am very happy and honestly I I'm gonna I'm gonna play it right now uh, I did record a video this morning of me messing around with it and honestly just messing around with this for like five or ten minutes just made me so happy I just really like the fact that it's here and yes many people might be thinking oh you're literally you know praising sand in a game yes guys i am because that's how effective this sand is in jurassic world evolution all right guys welcome to my new park as you can see i just pretty much restarted uh pretty much everything uh really i just opened up a new save file and started a new park i'm just gonna this is really just a test run i'm not really gonna you know build a park here or anything i just want to see if this sand terrain tool thing is gonna work which I i'm pretty sure it will obviously i know it will i've already recorded this <laughs> I've already recorded this this morning. I'm just doing a voiceover. So yes, I know that the sand terrain tool works and you guys are going to see it in action. And, you know, basically this video is just showing you guys that, you know, you can use the, the sand terrain tool and needs a nubler. All right. Now that the trees are all cleared, we can finally see the sand terrain tool. There it is. There it is. As you guys can see, it is finally added and you can place it down like so. It is beautiful. It is honestly, it's great. It's great. I, I know. Again, I'm praising sand. I am. <laughs> But a lot of people in this community would be too because, you know, again, look how look how different. Look how different the environment looks just with sand. It makes the environment look totally different in a like in a very good way. You know, you put sand by the shore, it looks like an actual beach. It looks great. 
And, you know, again, this has been something that we've pretty much seen in the trailers of Jurassic World Evolution when it first, you know, when the, you know, when it was first announced, there was a trailer that came out showing us that you could actually mess with this terrain tool a little bit. And the fact that, you know, people didn't get that firsthand really disappointed them. And it really was a surprise to me because I remember vividly from that trailer, like, uh, you know, where you're basically uh, clearing up a, uh, like a grassy area and putting in sand and then putting a building on top of it. So honestly, I was just a bit surprised that we didn't get that uh, when the game released. But now we have it. It's great. And, you know, you could decorate it however you want. Obviously, you guys know how sand works. You could put trees and rocks down on it and anything. But now you guys know that Fr Frontier finally released sand for Ezo Nublar. And honestly, it's, it's great. It honestly looks very beautiful and i mean just adding stuff like rocks and shrubbery and trees in it just makes all the difference like you could totally tell like look at this clip of me adding in shrubbery it's this realistic look that people are striving for in this game now many people have made do without these terrain tools for a long time and have created beautiful works of art on jurassic world evolution but now with these terrain tools imagine what they can do with all of this i mean look at the realistic feeling that this has now i mean i i for one and really enjoying this and it's going to be even better when we start adding some dinosaurs and there we go there's a sukumimus here um it's actually eating from the fish eater i actually haven't seen uh the fish eater yet i haven't seen like the dinosaurs in action so um you know i, I let's see this it's actually really cool oh so i i noticed that when i was recording this that uh these dinosaurs actually have a new animation for catching fish as you can see they kind of freeze there for a second and boom, they just snatch it. I found this very interesting because this is actually how Spinosaurus actually hunted their, you know, their, their food. This is how they, uh, you know, hunted their fish. And it's, it's honestly really cool. It really brought me back to that one documentary that I watched as a kid. And I just think that's very interesting how Frontier um, made them hunt like they did back in the day. It just really shows the accuracy that Frontier is striving for in this game. But anyways, you know, you could see, look at these dinosaurs in this environment. I mean, it's honestly really cool. I find it, like, amazing. And, yeah, again, people from an outside perspective may think that I might be overthinking this. I might be, you know, obsessive over this. But honestly, it's the thing that people like me are looking for are just realistic environments and stuff. And we never really got that when the game first came out. These terrain tools make that possible. And I really appreciate the fact that Frontier added this stuff into the game and added the sand terrain tool into Evil Nublar. It only, it took a little bit of work. It took a little over a month for them to work on and fix, but they fixed it nonetheless. And this also shows that Frontier listens to, you know, their fans. They listen to the people that play their game and they they do their best to fix stuff up. Yes, a lot of people think that Frontier don't listen to them because, I mean, what can you expect? We've been asking for stuff like this for a little over a year and it took them a while for them to finally give it to us. So, you know, it's, it's a little hard sometimes to get Frontier's attention for something like this. But in this case, they did a really good job and they really delivered on this. And I have to say, good job. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a short video telling you guys about, you know, this sand terrain tool and how it's finally on Ezo Nublar. Just a quick update video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Jurassic World Evolution updates and other cool stuff I post on this channel. That's all I have to say for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and please have a nice day.